the Melody King. Episode 3 Hallucinations. Scene 1 Corey and Nathan are making a song. I think you got a pretty cool album here. This song's gonna be icing on the cake. Yeah. The only thing that's missing are radio edits. Because you talk way too much about pills and all kinds of crap. Just the cards have been dealt, Corey. Nah, look, bro, quit wasting your time. You're too talented. You could use your gifts to help the whole world if you just cleaned your act up a little bit. You see, that would be lying. I'm being honest to the mic. Corey looks in disappointment when Flo's walks in. <coughs> Got something? Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. I'm about to blow this popsicle stand. I'm going to sleep, boys. Look, you can stick around, but you gotta get out of here before bedtime, all right, fellas? All right. Take it easy. Before he walks out. How many more songs you got left till the album is done? I finished it. Damn, you did that whole thing in a day? How many? <laughs> Nine, you wanna hear it? Scene two. Nathan walks into school completely dripped out with foes. How's it feel to be back? <laughs> well, it has definitely never looked this pretty. Screen sees Nathan's POV and it's very wobbly. You should put some cologne on, man. You smell extremely loud. That's my natural aroma now. <laughs> Drink my sweat, you'll get high. I've never seen someone stumble on weed this much, though. Nathan shakes his Annie bottle with a grin. Want some Xanax? Scene three. Get high, high, or die, die. 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 High, high, or die, die. I'm gonna be sober for an hour to visit my mom. A is only one call away. A is the only way to numb your pain. Besides that, get high or suffer. I'm not going anywhere. Just go! Flows walks in. I thought you said I could come record. Not, not, not you. I, I was on the phone. Hey, Flows. I rolled up in the car. Good, good thinking. I'll, I'll spark it. Scene four. Nathan gets out of the car stumbling and walks up to Dare New. Yo, how they treating you over there in Rich Boy Town? Life has never been like this, bro. Everything changed. I mean, I'm glad to see us treating you good. Shit, we miss you over here, bro. I, I can't get her out of my head, but I, I don't, I don't think it's love. Wait. So, so that's why you ran away uh, over a fucking bitch? It sounds bad, but it's a little more complicated than that. Yeah, I hope so. Scene five. Nathan and Foles are walking, but Nate's stumbling back. You don't look too good, Nate. What? Uh, I'm fine. The world's swirly. They walk into class, and Nathan stumbles into his desk. Open your books, too. Hey, mis Mr. Teacher. I'm going to the bathroom. Nathan gets up, walks into the hall, and starts projectile vomiting. Ew. Oh. Nathan makes it to the bathroom and collapses on the floor. Scene six. What the hell, Nathan? What's wrong with you? Normal people don't pick up their kids from school because they decided to OD in a public place. Yeah, yeah. You act like I wanted to do that, but... Okay. Did you take something? Does Corey allow you to do this? How are you getting these substances? Look, look. Corey is the opposite of involved with this. So this is what your dad allowed you to do then? You know what, Mom? You were right. Dad really doesn't give a shit. I want you to start out your 17th birthday sober. Scene 7. Falls, Corey, and Flo's are in the studio. Yeah, let's get shit-faced. Happy 17th birthday, Nate. 
17 years in subtitles. Dude has been fucked up since he woke up. Look, I don't care what you do somewhere else, but y'all gonna have to find another place to party. But happy birthday, my friend. Let's let's uh let's get some pizza. Corey, you smoke more weed than all of us combined. Look, I will sit you down and talk to you for hours about how weed is the most magical thing on the planet. But I'm not gonna do that right now. Speaking of which, where's my light? Nathan looks down on his phone and Ace sends a happy birthday and a picture of her and Dare New. My, my, my ex and my best friend are together. She's rubbing it in my face. Let's go kick his ass. I, I don't want that at all. I want to forget she exists. See Nate, Nathan and Flo's are in the studio in Fairhope. Nathan, I'm so proud, bro. You made more music this past month than I ever made, bro. And I like it all. You develop as an artist because of your circumstances, and it's going to take you far, bro. I just get really fucked up and don't stop recording. Shit, whatever you're doing is working wonders, bro. Just be careful. I I think I think I still miss her. And I, Let's not I, think I, about it. How about you tell the mic, and I'll tell you to get some food. Yeah, yeah, let's let's do that. Scene nine. Wakes up with light brown hair. <laughs> Don't want to be an eye anymore. Call her. She just got with their new. She did it to get your attention, obviously. She hates you for leaving. <laughs> yeah, well, that's her fucking problem, not mine. But, 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 is it really our problem? No, 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 no. Ah, fuck! Nathan calls her. Nathan? Hello? 